Hello there, and welcome back to the next video in our series in where we are learning how to teach with Zoom. The goal of this series is to take you right from the very beginning stages of learning how to use Zoom and signing up for a free account, right through to hosting your online sessions and teaching students in an online setting. Today, we will be investigating step number five, launching your very first Zoom session. Before you can launch and host your very first Zoom session, you will need to download the Zoom desktop client. You are automatically prompted to make this download the very first time you attempt to launch Zoom. This can be done directly from the Meetings tab on your Zoom dashboard by choosing the meeting that you want to launch and then clicking the Start button. Follow the prompts on the screen to install it. This download is one that only hosts of Zoom sessions are required to have. So for example, your students do not need to download the desktop client. It's not a requirement for them to join your Zoom session. It is only a requirement for you as a host in order to host the Zoom session. Now, because there is still a little bit of setting up to do and getting used to things for your very first launching of Zoom, I do recommend that, that this first launch be one where you're not required to be with students yet. So do a trial run before uh, you have your Zoom sessions with your students. Once the download has been completed, you will be prompted to sign in again. You will then be prompted to open Zoom or launch Zoom, and this will bring up the desktop client. From this desktop app, you are able to do most things that you can from the zoom.us website. So you can schedule meetings, you can join meetings, you can um, start hosting an instant meeting. There are even chat features for uh, contacts that you have through Zoom as well. By clicking on the meetings tab, uh, you can see uh, the instant meeting there for your personal meeting, as well as any upcoming meetings that you have already scheduled. And you can launch them directly from here. All you need to do is choose the one that you would like to launch and then press the blue start button. The very first time you join a Zoom session on a computer, you will be asked to confirm that you want to join with your computer audio. You need to make sure that you click on that button um, or else you will have a difficult time with audio. Um, so make sure you do that. And if you don't want to see that uh, pop up in the future, you can click on the little um, statement on the bottom where it allows you to automatically join that way each time you um, enter Zoom. The bottom toolbar is where you will find some of the more frequently used tools uh, such as uh, microphone and webcam control, chat and participant functions, as well as control over whether or not you want to pause or stop a recording. Uh, you can also find breakout rooms in the bottom toolbar here. Uh, we'll be going over these in more detail in our next video where we take you through um, a, a mock um, a lesson with students in the Zoom session and we demonstrate how we can use some of these different tools. Once you are finished in a Zoom session, um, all you need to do to end things is go to the red words that say end meeting and you'll be given a few choices for how you can end the meeting. You can simply leave the meeting if there are still other people doing things and you want to leave them there or you can end the meeting for everyone. And this is the one that I use all the time, just making sure that no students are left alone, unattended in a Zoom session without supervision. Well, this is quite exciting. You have now learned how to launch your very first Zoom meeting. Coming up in the next video, we are going to do a, a closer look at those tools that you can use 
for hosting your Zoom meetings. Um, I will have a few example students joining me in a Zoom session and um, we will do a, a mock lesson together to show you some of the different things that you can do, some of the different ways that you can use Zoom in a classroom, and hopefully help you as uh, you are preparing to host your own with your own students. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on our next video.